Republicans. We're back with the GOP's continuing effort to smear Attorney General Eric Holder. Republican Congressman Darrell Issa wanted nothing more than to turn Fast and Furious into a scandal. But all he's done is reveal his own partisanship. Democrats on this panel made that point today. It shouldn't be a political witch hunt against the attorney general of our country and our president in an election year. Agent Terry's tragic death demands justice and accountability. But this vote has nothing to do with that process. I just don't get the point. It just does not make sense to me. And it's the most ridiculous thing that I think I've seen in my years of being on this committee. So will the Republicans waste of time and their vote today have any lasting effect? Joining me now is Ryan Grimm, Washington Bureau Chief for the Huffington Post, and Anna Marie Cox, correspondent for The Guardian. Uh, thank you both for being here this evening. Thank you. Ryan, why do Republicans see this vote as a positive move? Well, I think they were they were pushed into this by their base. You know, they, they you know they they teased it for a while, and then uh, you know they, they might have wanted to move on. Uh, leadership, uh, m m many elements of leadership did want to move on, but they got their base so fired up that that their their hand was almost forced on this. And and to me, there there, there ought to be a, a rule in politics that okay, and we can decide what the time limit is. But let's say you have one year where you can flog a scandal. You know, you can use all of your partisan media outlets, you can use, you, you can use Fox News, you can use the Daily Caller, you can go to the American Spectator, and you can, you can flog fast and furious all day long. But if after a year, still nobody cares, the rule ought to be you kind of have to move on. I mean, this has been several years now that, they, that they've been trying to push this story. But you think it's their Tea Party, the extreme right, wing base that has pushed them and wouldn't let it go and forced it to this move today. Right. I, I don't I don't see uh, how this helps them in the general election, because people who are who are tuning in think, oh, the Congress is doing something interesting. OK, what is Congress doing? Oh, they're holding the attorney general in contempt over some gun scandal from several years ago down by the border. Like it, it just it, it's so far from what people might expect Congress to be doing, that it's just jarring. I mean, if you and want to be close to the... About a program yeah. that has no longer been continued, that he stopped, right. and they're not dealing with all of the program, just the part for him. And Anna, let me uh, uh, say that uh, at the same time, uh, these are the things they're not dealing with. 30 bills are up for to dismantle health care law, 29 bills restricting productive rights, four votes uh, on light bulbs. These are the things that uh, they're dealing with in their rules of distraction. It's true. Um, this, I think, actually, I think Ryan is right that this is not going to help them in the general election. You know, the only people whose jobs have been affected um, by this oversight committee's hearing are people who work in the drug industry, the illegal drug industry, I should say. And this, for them, is good news. Um, every minute that they spend grilling Holder is a minute they're not going to spend actually trying to stop the violence on the border that this program was intended to do something about. Um, that problem still exists, and it's infuriating to those of us who, who care. Um, about the drug war and personally think maybe you should handle it another way, that that's what they're focusing on. They're focusing on Holder. They're really doing, making this political and wanting to get him out of there and not focusing on the tragedy that got this agent killed. And what people don't understand, and clearly everybody that has any kind of feelings at all certainly want to deal with this agent being killed and the loss of his life. But these proceedings are not dealing with that at all. They're going after the attorney general. And to show how extreme this is, not only has no attorney general in history ever been held in contempt, uh, uh, Ryan. In fact, after uh, passing all this evidence in and giving all these documents in, we don't understand why anyone, whether he was attorney general or not, could be held in contempt. There's only been four officials held in contempt of Congress in modern history. Uh, yep. One an EPA administrator, the other uh, uh, Harriet Myers uh, and Bolton. These are people that wouldn't cooperate and wouldn't do what Congress wanted. 
Right. They're, they're using the word contempt in the everyday sense. I mean, this is what <laughs> happens when a party has genuine contempt for its opposition. Right. It doesn't it doesn't think its opposition is le- is legitimate. And so th- this is this is what it leads to. And, and it's ironic that that Congress, which has what, an eight or nine percent approval, would be trying to have contempt for anybody. I mean, who uh, who do they think they are? And, and maybe, though, uh, honor that there's some ulterior motives uh, when you really look at uh, behind why the base, as Ryan calls them, doesn't like Attorney General Holder. Maybe the fact that Holder is involved in dealing with blocking voter suppression laws or challenging anti-immigrant laws or refusing to defend the Defense of Marriage Act. I mean, maybe there are some real political reasons the base is so fired up against the attorney general because they clearly can't think that he hasn't handed over documents or hasn't cooperated. And even as late as yesterday said he would even give unprecedented information over to ISA. Yet that's contemptible or that's held in contempt. Well, I have to say, I just agree with you. Um, whatever this hearing is about, whatever this contempt vote was about, it's not about the justice um, um, for Agent Terry, and it's not about what the ATF is actually up to. It is about Eric Holder. It is about Daryl Issa, who is one of the most media-savvy congressmen out there. I think you know that. He knows exactly what he's doing with this, except I think what he's doing is a little short-sighted, because if we've sort of been alluding to, I don't think this is going to help the Republicans in the general election at all. I don't think it even puts forward the cause of justice at all. Um, it, instead, it's just grandstanding, and it doesn't have anything to do with the daily lives of people who are going to be making the decision about who runs this country. I know Marie Cox and Ryan Grimm, thank you both for your time tonight. And let thank me you. say this, only four people in modern uh, American history has been held in contempt of Congress. Compare their non-cooperation, compare their refusal to go before Congress, With the attorney general of the United States that went over and over again the hearings, handed over all kinds of documents, even agreed to give unprecedented uh, evidence to this committee that he clearly was not required to do. Why is he being held in contempt? Why is the NRA involved? Why are we hearing all kinds of references by Senator Corrin about voter fraud? Why are we doing this in an election year? I think you and I know why, and I think you and I need to be real clear to everybody that we understand what is really going on in Washington. 